Hello, welcome back to Sneaker Random Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you basically how to fix DS4 um, application not opening up, or maybe you're having trouble with it overall. Maybe it's not saving profiles, it's not, you can't find it, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, hopefully, I can fix your problem today. Also, I wanted to say on my last video with the configure setup of DS4, I was f completely blown away. My views have been going up like crazy. Thank you guys so much. Um, to be able to kind of reach out to people and help people with specific problems with stuff that I've actually experienced with um, it makes me happy to be able to just help other people you know do certain things online um, overall it just makes me feel really good about myself that I help someone else uh, with the program how to understand it uh, maybe they don't quite get it maybe they're having issues and they're DMing DMing me on Twitter. Um, I soon will have a Discord up. Um, not really too sure when. Probably next video. Um, hopefully, I'll have that up and ready. And um, but yeah, let's get into the video. Um, so we are gonna go to this PC first. I'm gonna hit Enter, and then go right here. Right click to your current drive that you want to scan. So basically, we're gonna scan for errors. Um, in your actual hard drive or SSD, M.2 drive, whatever you got, hit properties, go to tools, and I want you to do error checking and hit check. And this is gonna be the drive that we're using, my SSD drive, which is my C drive, my main drive, and go here, we're gonna scan it. Um, generally, this takes anywhere from like two to three minutes. I've seen systems get stuck at 99%, so hopefully it doesn't do that. Um, so you can see it's just, okay, yep, it just changes again. Um, so lately I've been seeing a lot of um, comments on my videos saying that the program's giving you white screens. Um, so you can go ahead and try this. This might help you, hopefully, with um, those white screens. Um, I do have a couple more ways that could help. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this to process and we're going to go ahead and go to we're going to type in DS4 if that way doesn't work for you so just go to oh okay successfully scanned no errors were found um, typically it's going to do that if the windows is having issues so if your program is having trouble let's say closing I don't have it I don't have it open currently but I'll open it right now and now we're gonna go ahead and go to, let's see, um, go to CMD, and we're gonna do admin, which is right here. Right click, admin, hit yes. We're gonna go here, system 32, and we are gonna go to, let's see, I had to save the, so we're gonna do task kill, double case, space F, space, I am, I don't know if you guys can see the upload up for you. So I am, and then space DS4. So this is gonna be the Windows program. So .exe, it's a .exe. And then, let me zoom it out again. And then hit double and. I will put this in the description box so you guys don't have to deal with it. Um, obviously, I didn't get a chance to copy it. I only know it by memory, um, sort of. <laughs> uh, let's see, .exe, wrote it down on a paper. That'd be easier to type, just hit enter. It's basically been terminated. Can't find the DS4 file. Obviously, because it closed, I had to force kill it. Um, so as you can see, down up, oh, it was there, but now it's not anymore. So you can go ahead and try that again and see if that helps. Try opening up DS4 again. As you can see, it works, obviously for me. If that doesn't work for you, then we've already scanned the drive. We've already done the CMD command. Um, go ahead and do DS4 again. Open file location. It's gonna bring you here. Just right click, open file location. It's gonna show this. In the last video, I told you don't click on this one. This is the main application only because this is the updated version. This is basically when all the updates push through. 
this certain application. So go ahead and open it and open DS4W. This is technically the same one. As you can see, it is the same one. It's just another way of opening it. Um, go ahead and close out of that. Um, try running it as admin. As you can see, opened again. You could try that. Um, let's see, you could try, so you go to properties, compatibility, run compatibility, troubleshooter, and then basically try recommended settings. Um, basically, it's going to have you run the program in Windows 8. Obviously, this is not going to change the fact that you have a Windows 10 um, operating system. This doesn't mean that you're running a Windows 8 operating system. You can obviously change this. You could do run compatibility. You can go here or you could do, go ahead and do it here automatically. You can go ahead and pick one. I just do Windows 8 because that's the current one. Um, run in an admin. Uh, register for the restart. So basically, you have to restart the program. Um, but you can try that. Go ahead and hit apply. And then hit OK. Um, you can try that way. Or um, I have another CMD command that might help you. Go ahead and do CMD command prompt. We're going to go ahead and run it as an admin. And the reason why we want, want to run it as an admin is because we wanted to make changes. So go ahead and open that up. I have the script here. So basically, we're going to do SFC space and we're going to do scan now. This is going to scan for the drive again. Um, it's going to take some time. Verification. Um, I will speed this up. All right. So as you can see, it didn't find any integrity violations. Didn't find anything wrong with the current drive overall and the overall system. So I'm going to go ahead and do another uh, command. Let's see. So we're going to do dsm.exe and then we're going to space. I will have all these in the, let's see, I'll have all these in the, the description box. Let's see, should be able to do these. Um, I want to see why not, I think with these would not go through. Let's see, scan help. Enter. Basically, it's going to do this. Imaging service and management tool versions. It's going to go ahead and do that. It's gonna... This should hopefully fix uh, with what you're going through. Just wait for this to load. Also, I have another command along to go with this as well. Um, I will put these, like I said, in the description box. I'll put them in brackets and all that so you guys don't get confused. Um, let's see. Um, generally, um, usually these um, commands and routes like this, I don't regularly do, um, but um, typically people that like I've been helping those other ways that I've did with just software, not like command prompt or anything or doing scripts or anything, um, has worked for them. So if you have to go any further than this, um, I can probably look into it. You can DM me on Twitter, um, probably ask a couple friends. I don't know everything about uh, computer systems, but I kind of share my, um, what I know so far about uh, applications. Okay, so it's been no component store corruption detected. So that's good. But we're going to go ahead and restore this health only because I don't want anything to happen. Let's see. Yeah, we don't want that. It's not it. So we'll go ahead and do. So dsm.exe. is a lower age um, if you don't do, if you don't type in these correctly 
Um, they won't run, which is crazy. <laughs> Go ahead and restore this health. And basically after this is done, um, just go like go ahead and do a restart obviously i'm not going to do a restart restart for the sake of the video but um go ahead and do a restart and see what happens um let me know in the comments below what you guys uh thought of this video maybe it helped you maybe it didn't maybe you were confused let me know in the comments also i am looking for new ideas for new videos um i'm a very new content creator um, I didn't actually think I'd actually use keep using the camera thing um, Obviously, I'm gonna invest in, in a new camera with better quality Obviously, I don't like this camera that I currently have now um, Willing to upgrade so if you know any good upgrades for cameras for recording purposes um, Let me know in the comments too um, Discord server coming soon uh, as far as I know hopefully next video I'll be able to launch my discord server um, so I can help you guys further instead of you guys making Twitter accounts. I've noticed that, um, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, restore operation completed successful. Operation completed successfully. So basically, we scanned the drive. It didn't see any errors. We went ahead and we did the cleanup image. And we scanned for the health. Didn't see anything. And then we go ahead and we restored it. Didn't see anything as well. Everything went great. Um, go ahead and restart the computer and see if that helps you out. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, make sure to smash up that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe. I see a lot of my viewers, they don't subscribe. Uh, I'd, really, I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys did. Um, but yeah, um, that's it for me. Uh, let me know in the comments new videos, new ideas, new content that you guys want to see. Um, like I said, I can't fix everything, but uh, I'd be willing to try. Um, I'm trying to hopefully buy another keyboard, show you guys how to solder a little bit, um, what to look for in a budget keyboard or keyboard in general. Um, hopefully you guys like the video. I appreciate it. All right. Peace.